Every year, Harbor Freight Tools recognizes teachers across the country for their dedication to teaching trade skills to the generation of tomorrow. Uh, this morning in Oro Valley, one teacher learned he was one of only 25 teachers recognized this year. Kagan 9's Kenny Dar is near Calle Concordia and North Oracle at Canyon Del Oro High School. It was a pleasant Tuesday morning for one teacher here at Canyon Del Oro High School after his automotive class was awarded a $50,000 grant. I'm shocked, first and foremost. His demeanor may not say it, but Canyon Del Oro's automotive teacher, Jeremy Tarbett, is excited and grateful to be chosen as one of 24 nationwide finalists for the Harbor Freight Tools for Schools grant program. That can go a far way in an automotive shop. We can, we can buy supplies, um, tooling, machinery um, to give these kids actually a better a better experience in the classroom. He says in previous years he was a finalist three times. So finding out he would be receiving a $50,000 grant was a full circle moment for the former El Dorado himself. I've always restored cars, but then I started doing it professionally. At the time, um, they called me up and asked if I wanted to be a uh, long-term sub and that turned into a full-time job here and 13 years later I'm still here. Well it means a lot to us because our teacher has impacted our lives a lot. Inside the classroom his students feel no one else deserves it more. Two of his students Madison Sharkey and Sydney Pinnell highlighting the teamwork driven atmosphere he's created. If we have a problem he'll come over and help us or he'll have somebody else who knows exactly what to do come and help us and we like will mess around but we're still serious about what we're doing and we really learn a lot. But above all else Tarbit wants the skills learned by his students to translate to real world application in anything they do beyond the class. It's really about life experience um, and for them not to be afraid of doing something. They might fail a couple times, but the third time they might do it right. And it's all about the learning process through failure. Of the $50,000, $15,000 will go directly to Tarbit and his family, though he admits he hasn't thought about what he might do with the money. Reporting from Canyon Del Oro High School, Kenny Dar, Kega 9.